Hi, I'm Gary, and this morning I decided to come out here and get some kindling for our fireplace. Now what this pile here is, is pine. Now pine I get in a couple of different sizes, depending on how their equipment's working. This material here is from a wood chipper with a blunt blade, and this material here is from a wood chipper with a sharp blade. The difference is the sharp blade cuts it into chunks and a blunt blade shreds it and throws it out the back. And the same thing happens when they do eucalyptus or eucalypt. It's very stringy and it just gets pulled through the wood chipper. Both of them are very good as kindling for the fireplace and when you've finished um, burning them you end up with ash which is the minerals left over and you also end up with charcoal which is the carbon that hasn't completely burnt. So both of these things are good for the garden. The carbon can be turned into biochar when the microbes move in and the ash is just pure minerals. It's already been through a plant once so the second time round is going to be a lot quicker and that's why fireplace ash is really good for your garden. And what I do with piles like this, when the tree company calls, I don't ask them what type of uh, material they're bringing. I'm happy getting anything because this material here I can use on our um, parking lot or I can use it for kindling. The finer material like this over here I use for putting on top of our garden and our planters and this is very leafy and that's better for the garden. So I've got uh, several piles here that I've been moving and working on. We have a gravel driveway so when it rains the water flows down here. Now this area here is clay that's fallen down over the top of the retaining wall and I'm going to fix that up. I've been digging it out and moving in the clay soil. Our rock driveway leads to the parking area in the back of the house. Before I laid down wood chips, the back parking lot area resembled this mud here. So it was pretty slick and it was hard to move in and out. And as you drove down the driveway, you would pick up the rocks and drive along and quarter mile down the road you'd be dropping rocks all the way down. So now that I've put down the wood chips we don't have that problem anymore. When it rains the water flows down here and once it hits the wood chips if there's any excess water it'll continue to flow and I've got it directed down the hill. This was after a rainstorm in January 2017 and I just wanted to put this in to show how the water flows through the wood chips. I've set up something like a little river system where I can get it to funnel through the wood chips picking up some compost tea and then flowing out under the pepper tree and down the hill. Robbie left a little while ago and you can see her tire marks and on top of the tire marks are coyote footprints can tell they're coyote footprints because you can see the nails. If it had been a bobcat or a mountain lion, which would have a bigger footprint, there wouldn't be any nails in the footprints. Cats can retract their nails, canines can't. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other videos that we've put up on YouTube, you can go to our channel, that's Robbie and Gary. And if you would like to subscribe to our channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified of other videos as they are put up, hit the bell button. And thanks for watching and enjoy your day.